Hello Aries. This is a reading for the sign of Aries. Sun, moon, or rising signs. For the energy of the solstice. So I hope that you are doing well, Aries. We'll get right into it. Please know that these readings are general. So take what resonates for you and leave the rest. Try not to build a story if it does not resonate with you, meaning that you feel it within your very being that yes, this is my message. These are general. So if you'd like a personal reading, Aries, you can book through my website. I will leave a link in the description box. The website is bethechange333.com. All right. Messages for Aries, sun, moon, or rising signs. Let's see what comes through for you, Aries. First card out, heart chakra. Having some form of a heart awakening, Aries. Maybe a deeper realization, self-love. Um, maybe you're starting to perceive life in a different way. Or maybe you've had some someone new or a new love experience come into your life. Opening up your heart. And the healing energy of love, of the heart, really does change everything, Aries. You finally are able to drop the act of your own ego's needs. And you find that any situation that you have been in, possibly conflicting situations or just stressful situations, sort of start to dissolve. It's a triumphant success when you're living from the heart energy, Aries. My light just started flickering. Very interesting. Okay. So Aries, what you've been working through is your sense of stability and just being grounded, feeling grounded and rooted in yourself, in your environment. There has been temptation to fall back into old patterns, Aries. Maybe you have fallen back into old ways of thinking, behaving, acting, um, thought patterns, the loops come back and it um, left you feeling very ungrounded, uncertain, unstable within yourself. Let's keep going, Aries. I feel that energy too. It's kind of like your shadow side. And maybe you're starting to recognize that, recognize your patterns, what does not feel good, and realizing that I think I'm creating this myself from the way I'm viewing things, from my past childhood pain. But once you start um, perceiving through the heart, living through the heart, Aries, that's when things change. And I think you're recognizing this. You're starting to see, oh, if I bring love into the situation, love into the equation, then suddenly I don't need to utilize these old ways that um, I used to operate as protection, self-protection, or just coping mechanisms when things are hard or difficult. Knowing yourself, that is the name of the game here, Aries. So I know we're definitely going through a lot of astrological transits right now, helping us to break down the old versions of ourselves and who we think we are, our ego uh, mind, and really seeing the core um, situations that have created these false egos or false mm, or overinflated ego even false 
that I keep hearing a couple of different things, but just the perspective in general is um, not true. And you're starting to realize this. It could be just a, a, a um, lapse in judgment, but follow that, follow that pattern. What triggers you into thinking or seeing things a certain way? It definitely goes back to your childhood, Aries. Especially with the sun in Cancer now and Neptune getting ready to go retrograde. Okay, anything else for Aries? I just did a collective reading last night on my Facebook channel um, that was speaking about Neptune current energy of Neptune. All right, so Aries, you have universal forces working with you and through you right now. You may start to realize this, your higher self, your spirit team are all in support of your evolution, you growing and evolving through this particular phase in your life. The bottom of the deck for you, Aries, is trapped in fear. So this all, this situation, whatever it is that you're currently experiencing, um, really has to do with deep-rooted fear that is hidden or buried with inside of yourself. That it stems from your childhood. Well, let's dive a little deeper into this, Aries, and see if we can get any more out for you. And if you like this video so far, please click the like button. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. This will help with the YouTube algorithms to get the messages out to more and more people. It will also help the channel grow. I'm just getting started here, Aries, and it's um, part of the gig, I'm told, is I've got to have at least a thousand subscribers in order to go live on my mobile device, certain things like that. So you'll help me be able to grow my channel. Um, this channel will not just be for me. This is a community channel. And um, we're actually going live tomorrow night, Friday night, 7 p.m. with a, another uh, friend of mine, Heather, and I will be speaking about topics that we all should be talking about but are not. <laughs> So there's going to be a lot of new things. If you do subscribe, click the notification bell and you will be notified when I do upload new content. Okay, Aries, let's dive into this a little bit more. Okay, so your heart chakra and your 10 of cups, same thing. What brings you happiness and joy in life? What really lights you up, right? And that is living through the heart. It's not specifics. It's not materialism or material world. It is the energy that's behind anything you experience. And you're in the mind too much. You're in the past or the future and you're not present. You're not in the heart. So stay in the heart. It looks as though you're currently very, very much in the heart energy and things are running smoothly right now for you. There is a temptation here for at from time to time to fall back into old patterns of behavior, old patterns of thinking that bring up a lot of fear in you that then triggers these behavioral patterns. So that is what you want to uh, be mindful of, Aries. Work on getting grounded and staying grounded. Go out into nature. Go for a walk in nature. Take your shoes off, put your feet in the earth on the earth. <laughs> Go by a body of water, uh, a lake, a stream, the ocean. Hug a tree. There are so many different techniques and modalities that you can use on a daily basis to practice grounding techniques for you. Energetically, this will really help bring back uh, fragmented parts of you back into wholeness. So it's really important to stay grounded, especially in these higher frequency energies that we're receiving in right now from the planets, from the sun. Um, they can unground us and have us kind of floating around in different realms uh, in the mind. And so another important 
reason to get grounded. Okay, Aries, we got a couple out here. All right. Beautiful. So, yes, uh, staying in the heart and also being very self-aware, aware of your patterns, aware of all of your cycles, the different characters that you've played in your life, and what um, really brings up these certain characteristic traits within you is really going to be helpful and for your journey forward will be more successful the more you're aware of yourself, your energy, your emotional patterns. Um, get rooted, get grounded, buy, get, dance, go outside, paint, get into a colorful mood of creativity, something that you enjoy doing, Aries, um, something that really will help inspire you to connect deeper to nature, to your soul, your higher self, your spirit guides. So this temptation, this fear has to do with another, has to do with someone that you deeply love and you're deeply connected to. There's some fear from your past, maybe a fear that this person will be taken away from you or will go away from you. I'm not sure what it is, but there's temptation here that pulls you in your old ways, in your childhood wounds. It pulls you into your childhood wounds. The universe is really helping you stay happy, stay in your joyful state and connect to your vitality, your personal vitality, your joy, your sunshine, your happiness, which is beautiful because you are going through a life transformation right now, Aries, death of the old version of you, death of all that you knew or learned, you're unlearning everything you learned and you're really starting to open up to the truth of yourself and the truth of life in general, death of the old patterns, the old ways, and a rebirth of the true authentic version of you, Aries. Bottom of this deck is Hermit. It will take some time to yourself to meditate, contemplate, connect with nature, connect with your higher self to really keep this heart chakra open. Keep life flowing in this sunshiny, happy way. All right, Aries, I am going to get an advice card for you from the soul's journey. Advice for Aries, please. for Aries, please. Okay. Aries, the advice card for you is to recognize that you're never alone. Loneliness came out. It says, I know that I am never alone. You are never alone. I'm going to read this from the book for you to wrap this message up here. For Aries, I know that I'm never alone. This card has come to you because you must be reminded that there is a difference between being lonely and being alone. Feelings of loneliness originate from a sense of not appreciating the most important person in your life, you. If solitude seems like an affliction, you need to work on creating a healthy relationship with yourself. Only then will you attract others who will nurture your soul. If you don't develop a healthy relationship with yourself first, you will only draw unhealthy relationships to you. To create a healthy, positive relationship with yourself, you must begin to feel worthy of love. The pessimism of this physical dimension can affect your self-esteem if you don't have a strong conviction that you are valuable and meaningful. Don't view solitude as a weakness. It is merely your soul telling you that this, that it is time to do some inner work and reevaluate your path before you start to shine. As you sit in the silence of your soul, you will realize that your spirit family, teachers, and guides are with you. You are never alone. You are never alone, Aries. So 
you can wipe that thought out of your mind. <laughs> That's all I have for you today. Thank you, Aries, for joining me. Please click the like button if you like this video. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed and share if you feel compelled to. Thank you.